What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Sports TV. And I am back with another video. Before I get into the video, go ahead and smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button in that post notification bell button to be notified. Also, follow me on Instagram at Colossal underscore Sports TV. All-time great heavyweight champion, Lennox Lewis, has sent a stern message to fellow country mate and current unified heavyweight champion, Anthony Joshua. He says that Joshua must order Eddie Hearn to make the Deontay Wilder fight. I'll post a link um, in the description below. But pretty much, Lewis has said Deontay Wilder and their conversations between the two have explained to him and has expressed his desire, you know, to want to fight Anthony Joshua, to become the undisputed heavyweight champion. You know, he, he said um, that Wilder told him that AJ is simply listening to Eddie Hearn. And honestly, we know this is true. That is his promoter. Um, the promoter job is to promote um, his fighter, which Eddie Hearn has done a tremendous job of doing so. But at the end of the day, when you get to a certain level um, where you're multi-belt um, unified champion, the arguably the top draw in boxing, is where you got to start to flex your power a little more. And yes, people can say, well, he flexed it with Deontay Wilder. True enough, he did. But at the end of the day, it's starting to look bad. You got your country mate, one of the greatest heavyweights of all time, top 10 heavyweight of all time, former undisputed um, heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox Lewis, calling you out. He's siding with the Yankee, the American, Deontay Wilder, um, in this whole situation. You got a lot of people starting to look at you side-eyed. And simply because the perception is reality. Uh, unfortunate and fucked up as they may be, that is the case. Perception is reality. And the perception is that Anthony Joshua, you said if they send you $50 million, you would sign the contract. They sent you $50 million, $37 million, um, in UK money, and you didn't take the fight. You're currently preparing to fight Alexander Pavek in September 22nd. And that, scri that cries um, a con man, a liar, uh, a guy that isn't true to his word. And this is only going to get worse for you because now we're on the verge of seeing Tyson Fury, another guy who despises Anthony Joshua, fellow country mate, former heavyweight champion of the world, current lineal heavyweight champion of the world, take on a guy you should be, you're supposed to be getting ready to take on in his third comeback fight after being out of the ring for three years. People going to be like, well, Tyson Fury, that is nuts drop. You know, he was a man of his words, you know, and he fought a guy that he probably maybe shouldn't have been fighting until next year. And they're going to question you and your willingness to want to fight Deontay Wilder. But Lennox Lewis is absolutely right when he says that Anthony Joshua needs to order Eddie Hearn to make the fight. No ifs, no ands, no buts about it. Make the fight. This is a legacy fight for both men. If he were to win this fight, he would be the undisputed heavyweight champion, undefeated, the face of boxing. He, he would have beaten Vladimir Klitschko, former um, unified heavyweight champion of the world, long reigning heavyweight champion of the world, future Hall of Famer. He would have beat another title holder in Joseph Parker in their unification belt. Then he would have beat Deontay Wilder, the power punching, undefeated WBC heavyweight champion. He would cement his legacy already. Already in what, only 20, what, three, 24 fights? And to already be an undisputed champion? He needs to tell Eddie Hearn, I appreciate you, Eddie. You my guy, but shut the fuck up. Make the fight, make a fair offer, and let's get the ball rolling on this fight. This is what I want. I want to be known as one of the all-time great fighters and heavyweight champions in the history of the sport. And the only way to do that is to go through Deontay Wilder. And it's the same goes for Deontay Wilder, you know, who's undoubtedly expressed his desire, his want to, to face Anthony Joshua in a high-stakes, 
undisputed heavyweight championship belt that is highly anticipated to the point where people are just, you know, they're constantly thinking about it, constantly talking about it, you know. And I think the fight will get done next year, but shit going to have to change because Deontay Wilder is already on um, record saying that he's not going to take the offer that um, Eddie Hearn is not budging off of. And honestly, if he defeats Tyson Fury, he's the lineal heavyweight champion of the world, which means you definitely going to have to give him a fair deal. Now, I don't know if 50-50 is going to be on the table, 60-40. 45-55, he definitely going to make more than the reported $15 million that, um, you know, he agreed to because he will not only be the WBC heavyweight champion, the most prestigious belt of them all in all of boxing, he'll also be the lineal heavyweight champion of the world. That means he beat the guy that beat the guy. Joshua, while he has three of the belts, didn't beat the guy. Simple as that. So... We have to see how shit play out, man. If if Wilder uh, is victorious against um, Fury, if that fight fight gets done, then he has more to bring to the uh, the bargaining table, and really pushes both Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua's back against the wall, where there's nowhere else to run, where the walls are gonna cave in, where he has to sign on the dotted line. He's gonna have to improve that offer. Um, if he wants to really uh, see his fighter, Anthony Joshua, step in the ring, you know, and lay it all on, lay it all on the line for, um, you know, all the titles, you know, and, and, and we, we'll see. But there's plenty of fighters before him that have taken their career into their own hands and, and, and have thrived. Oscar De La Hoya, Floyd Mayweather Jr., Lennox Lewis himself, um, just to name a few. And you see how well their career went. So, you know, that's what it is, man. Uh, shout out to everybody in the movement that is moving with us. Be sure to check out 3kingsboxing.com daily for your latest and greatest updated, unfiltered, and unbiased boxing news reported the way it should be. Drop your comments in the comment section down below. Also, go to Facebook, like my um, page, Colossal Sports TV. I'll post a link in the description below so you all can check me out. Um, over there on Facebook. Also follow me on Twitter at Colossal um, CBT, I believe it is. Um, yeah. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.